Be right back. Much better. So friends, I just want to let you know that I'm giving up. I'm giving up on this. And this is not cap, as the kids say, as the Ute Dem say. Oh God, I can't believe I did that. <laughs> but I'm being 100% serious. I'm giving up on this. Oh, I, I, don't, I don't mean like screenwriting in general, screenwriting overall just this particular script. This is my script for Potter's Field. If you've been following this channel for a while, then you already know what Potter's Field is. But if you haven't, if this happens to be your first video, then let me just briefly explain Potter's Field. Potter's Field is my comedy horror script that I've worked on for, God, like the past <laughs> three, four years. And it was the first script that I actually wrote when I got out to LA. When I met uh, my writing mentor and got involved with the writing group that I used to be in, this was the project that I worked on. And, you know, wrote it, workshopped it, everything went through so many rewrites. And I don't, not just like regular re rewrites, but like page one rewrites. At one point, it became an entirely different story with kind of the same premise. <laughs> and even though I'd, I'd written that entire thing and I did like it, it wasn't the story that I wanted to tell. So I went back to the original premise. This script did well in the Nickel Fellowship. It got like decent rankings on the Blacklist website, but it's always gotten like good marks, good remarks, good comments from readers when I've sent it into uh, to evaluation services. People who've read it seem to enjoy it. And it's the script that I've had the most success in getting out there as far as like querying managers and producers and stuff like that. And I say the most success because when I would send out the query letters with the log line for Potter's Field, people responded. People would ask to read the script. So I took that to mean that there was something there. I eventually did land a manager. That situation didn't work out. And if you want to learn more about that, uh, you can watch the video that's like linked up here. There's gonna be a little YouTube card thingy up here. You can click on that where I tell the story about my manager, my former manager, that is. But yeah, you know, after, like I said, like after about three or four years of working on this and trying to get it out there and everything, I'm just like, you know what, maybe this is not the one. It's, it's not the one and it's time to move on to something else. And it's, it's hard, you know, because I really do love this script and people who've read it, you know, like I said, they, they seem to like it and the feedback has always been good. So I'm just not sure why it's not the one that caught fire. As I mentioned in a previous video, talking about chasing trends and everything like this, I feel like Potter's Field would be perfect for the moment now, since, you know, that's what everyone is looking for. You know, I've already kind of written that. But I also feel that at this point, if I were to try to keep pushing it or whatever, the trend is gonna be gone by the time it, it does catch fire, if it, if it ever did. So again, just kinda put it to the side, put it down, forget about it for now, for now for now. I actually came to this decision a while ago, several months ago, just kind of like as a, just like a Hail Mary at the end of last year, toward the end of last year, I sent out one last round of queries. I did this around uh, Halloween. You know, I was just like, hey, it's the spooky season. You know, perhaps you'd be in the mood to read a comedy horror script, you know, full of gore and laughs. And as I mentioned, people responded. They responded to the query. I got several read requests. I even got a read request. This, uh, you know, I thought that this might have turned into something, but I queried a manager, and it turns out that his assistant is someone that I know, someone that I've met out here. And so the assistant hit me back and said, Hey, Jay, we got your script, and my boss is really interested in it. You know, he said, You know, can't promise anything, but, you know, we will take a look at it. So I'm just like, All right, bet. 
I didn't hear back from nobody. Like I said, this was around, you know, this is October. This was, you know, coming up on Halloween and everything. And I didn't hear back, you know, in October, didn't hear back in November. And I'm thinking, well, folks are ramping up, you know, holidays are coming up. You got Thanksgiving. And then, you know, the town pretty much shuts down. So I was like, all right, well, maybe that's what it is. You know, everything is shutting down for the, for the holidays. And maybe I'll hear something at the top of the year. And then the new year came in. Still didn't hear anything, but you know, January is Sundance. Everyone's going to Sundance. So I was thinking, well, maybe they're going to go to Sundance and they're waiting, they're going to wait until after Sundance to hit me up. But by that point, I, I realistically, I knew that, yeah, I wasn't going to hear from anyone, not even from my buddy who worked for that one, that one manager. And I thought about hitting him up, you know, just to be like, hey, I know that you guys clearly are not interested in the script. You know, at this point, I know that y'all aren't interested. But, you know, just to see if there's any kind of feedback, anything that, you know, that he can tell me, maybe as to why uh, they passed on it or, but yeah, you know, at this point, this far along, I know that, you know, none of the people that requested uh, the script, I know that they're not interested in repping me or getting that script made. So got to move on. The thing about screenplays, though, is that they're never really dead, right? You know, not in, not until like someone buys it and, and then they're in control and they shelve it. I mean, you know, me as a writer, still in possession of this script, you know, I still have every opportunity to get this script out there or to even make it myself if I were to ever fall into, you know, a few hundred thousand. Shit, maybe just, I, maybe I just need, a, you know, just a few thousand. Who knows? Who knows? You never know. But the point is, I'm still in control, so it's not like the script is totally dead. And you know, I look at someone like Misha Green. I talked about Misha several videos ago about how her script for Sunflower was written, God, like 15 years ago. But she has risen to the level of like, kind of like power within the industry in which she can now say, hey, I want to direct a film and I'm gonna make Sunflower my directorial debut. So this script that the one, the, the version that I have is dated like 2008. And she's going to make that her directorial debut. So I'm assuming that, that that film will be coming out this year or next year. But in any case, it just goes to show that nothing's ever dead. Who knows? Maybe 15 years from now, I can say, hey, going to make this my directorial debut. <laughs> in the meantime, of course, I've still got other scripts, you know, other scripts that I'm working on, um, other scripts that I have. I do have a romantic comedy that I'm excited about and I'm hoping to get that out there. I just gotta, I gotta plan this right. I gotta strategize and, and really see how I can get it out there, who I can get it to, you know. For me, and the important thing isn't necessarily to sell a particular script. Like I'm trying to sell myself as a writer and I want these scripts to serve as showcases for my voice, for my talent, for my capacity to write a coherent story and adhere to like style and format and everything like that. I want people to, to read my work and be like, oh yeah, this dude, he, he's more than competent and more than talented. He knows what he's doing. So even if the particular script that I send isn't the one that gets bought or made, they're still looking at me, Jay Fingers, as a writer they wanna work with. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So that's what's going on on the writing front. And when I say I'm giving up, like I said, I'm not giving up on screenwriting. I'm not giving up on writing, storytelling, creating. I'm just putting a pause, putting a pause on Potter's Field. I also want to shout out my buddy Rex. Rex, I have not forgotten you. I've got your script right here. I'm going to get into it. I can't read anything on screen. So, you know, I'm not reading anything on you know, my, my laptop or iPad or anything like that. Got to print them out. Got to print this out and really get into it. So, but I got you, bro. Just want, want to let you know, I got you. Don't be mad at me. I know you're probably just like this motherfucking Jay. No, man, I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> anyway, friends, till next time.